fire. This natural element has both sustained and threatened life. It is both a tool deeply tied to human survival and a natural phenomenon so crucial to the ecology of forests across the planet. In this short film, I'll explore the relationship between architecture and fire at the wildlife urban interface and propose a single family dwelling which builds resilience against fire disaster. The problem of a fire disaster, especially in Northern California, has greatly influenced the lives of many. The threat of high winds, raising temperatures, and a dry, dense forest ecology have caused many evacuations, forcing families to leave their neighborhoods, taking only what they can fit on their backs. In the past 30 years, fires on average have burnt significantly more acres of land. Due to dead undergrowth and small diameter timber which builds over time, forests can easily catch fire and burn at speeds that are unstoppable. Fires such as the Camp Fire in 2018 and the Tubbs Fire decimated the city of Paradise in Napa, California, killing hundreds and destroying thousands of homes. These two devastating fires alone burnt nearly 200,000 acres of land. So how can architecture really offer any solution? The problem of forest fires and producing an architecture which builds resilience is complex. However, in many ways, it comes down to forest management and designing cities which have a conscious relationship to the forest. My proposal for a single family residence in Paradise, California would take advantage of small diameter timber construction and 3D printing technology to address fire disaster. The project responds to fire in several ways. Firstly, by sourcing local small diameter timber, we reduce the density of unwanted small trees within the forest, which would minimize the threat of fire. Secondly, we have chosen to construct with earth for its fire resistant properties. In the situation of fire, the residents could take shelter in the interior mud volumes and wait out the fire. And thirdly, a holistic landscape design situates the building in a defensive zone defined by a scale of vegetation which would minimize the risk of fire. The concept of the house is to provide a place for reflection, community, and recuperation through fire and chimneys as a space-making device. Historically, architects have used the hearth as a literal and symbolic center of the home. It once provided a place to cook and provides a place for family to gather. This home extrapolates and abstracts the function of the chimney, taking its form as a new building type. This chimney architecture would allow fire to be safely enjoyed in the home as a key architectural form. A series of repeated chimney stacks become the centers of activity throughout the home. The established chimney vocabulary is also enlarged and repurposed as wall elements, which provide space for the programs of the home. The general partie of the home in section is that of a glass hot house with scattered volumes throughout it. A single roof plan offers shelter, while the glazed facades draw the exterior environment in. While the 3D printed mud walls and hearth spaces provide enclosure and moments of introspection, the floating roof and expansive views tie the residents to nature. The interior cylindrical volumes produce a dynamic relationship between highly sheltered interior spaces and the flow of space around them. Circulating around the volumes produces a sense of expansion and contraction at the loose thresholds generated between volumes. Punched openings in these volumes allow for views out and allow for the family members to stay in close contact with one another. The program of the home includes a master bedroom, two smaller bedrooms for children, two baths, a kitchen, a dining table, living room, office, and a porch with a conversation pit and fireplace. The construction of the building would be a hybrid of several techniques, combining 3D printing and the automated assembly of prefabricated roof elements. A more typical construction method would be used for the outer glazing and interior cabinetry. 3D printing would be used for all of the interior walls as well as portions of the foundation. A single large size printer would be situated on site, first printing the foundation in concrete, followed by the interior walls which would be printed with mud. After the foundation and the interior volumes are printed, the roof would be assembled. First, the primary structure of CLT girders and columns would be constructed and attached to the foundation followed by the machine-assisted installation of the prefabricated roof trusses. Finally, the secondary beams which span each truss would be installed, allowing the installation and the exterior metal allowing ins 
insulation and the exterior metal roofing to be attached. The resulting architecture is one that seeks to reimagine the relationship between the human subject and the modern family to nature. The expansive views and natural materials ground the residents to the earth and brings the serenity of the forest into the home. In conclusion, I hope this architectural sketch offers inspiration on how small diameter timber construction and mud architecture can be used in a contemporary context by addressing the rising threat of fire disaster in California and by taking advantage of innovative te technologies like 3D printing and by taking advantage of innovative technologies like 3D printing.